Hey, beautiful babes. Welcome back in to Sugar Fingers. By your girl, sweet angel. We are back at it today, and we're gonna drop it down. What? Drop it down low, cause we're getting ready to talk about a great foot soak. Y'all know I'm always busy on these feet, working it out on the stage, running around. You know I gotta take care of the feet. Yes, we do. So today the mixture is quite simple. It is a great tea tree essential oil foot soak with Epsom salt. And I'm just gonna show you how to mix it up. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Before we get to it though, please make sure you have subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload. Absolutely. Babies, that's all I have for you. We're going to get on to this wonderful foot soak. And all you have to do when you prepare this foot soak, just get you a tub of water, a foot tub, put it in the tub, sit there, soak your feet, and you will have, oh, such a great, great spa day. This foot soak is going to soak away foot fungus and bacteria. It's going to soothe tired, sore, aching, and itching feet. <laughs> that says a lot, right? Okay, I'm telling you. It's going to leave your feet soft, fresh, clean, and completely, I said completely, rejuvenated. I know you're ready to get to it, so without further ado, down to the desk. So as you can see, I already have my little tub here that I'm going to mix everything up in. I have some measuring tools right here, some little cups. So we're going to go ahead and get this done. Now the first ingredient I have here is Epsom salt. Epsom salt. When added to warm or hot water, the magnesium and sulfate in Epsom salt are dissolved and easily absorbed through the skin. Now you don't have to struggle with a whole bunch of measurements. We're just gonna take here a half a cup of it, yes, and just pour it in like so. Cause we got more ingredients to go. There's the Epsom salt in place right now. Next we have the Dead Sea Salt. Y'all remember this big bag right here? Well, she's quickly going way down. Sea salt is the best source of minerals to alkalinize and relax the body, the feet. This, okay, is gonna do it. This is great for your bad spa shower. And it says, what? Your feet. We're gonna go ahead and take us a nice rounded half cup of the dead sea salt. Voila. There we go. Alright, let's just mix these two dry ingredients together now. And that is perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and put my lid on that. We'll set it aside and let's get to some very potent ingredients. Now, I'm just taking an old empty bottle that I have. I'm using it because of the amber glass because this will contain a mixture of essential oils and I want the amber bottle to keep the ingredients in in order to protect the integrity of those essential oils. So never mind, it says jojoba oil here. I've already cleansed the bottle and we're going to use it for the next ingredients we're going to add to this bottle. And we'll drop these in as we need for the foot soak. We're not going to go ahead and pour it into the dry mixture at this time. All right, first we're gonna start off with tea tree oil. Y'all, tea tree oil is great for foot fungus. Applying tea tree oil topically to the feet has been shown to be effective in treating foot fungus. Yes, you can actually apply this neat, meaning without any type of carrier oil or anything on it twice a daily but we're going to mix it in with our liquids here for taking care of it'll take care of foot fungus also known as athlete's feet tinea pettis 
or ringworm due to a lesion that occurred. Okay, we're gonna take a few drops of this, just a few, like one, two, three, four, five. That's good enough there. Really like six or seven dropped in there. But that is perfect. Next up we have eucalyptus essential oil. Now eucalyptus essential oil also has both cooling and anti-inflammatory properties, which can relieve the pain of tired feet. Eucalyptus also relieves stress and tension and is an analgesic, so it can help numb any area. It also works to combat athlete's feet and leave your feet smelling fresh. So we're gonna take a few drops of the eucalyptus essential oil. And there we are. About three to eight maybe drops of either of these oils is going to be great. Now we have peppermint. Now you see what I'm talking about, that it's going to refresh those feet, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Peppermint essential oil helps relieve pain in two ways. First, it provides a calming, cooling sensation. Secondly, it has anti-inflammatory properties. So when applied topically, can reduce the pain and swelling. So this is gonna be so potent. It popped off the top, y'all. It's gonna be so potent. Just a few drops, three to eight drops of the peppermint essential oil. Next up, this essential oil is camphor. Now camphor, we haven't talked about it much, but let me tell you something. Camphor is great for poor circulation. Camphor essential oil can help inhibit those inflammations and soothe pains. Yes, it can. So we're going to add in just a few drops of the camphor. Yes, this bottle is lit up. Yes, it is. Next, one of my all-time favorites. Y'all know this one. This is lavender essential oil. You can just simply rub this on your feet for immediate calming effect on your feet. It's very relaxing, even the scent is. We're gonna take a couple of droppers of this into our mixture. And now we have rosemary. Rosemary essential oil is great for not only muscle pain, but joint pain as well. It can help improve circulation and reduce pain associated with arthritis. And we're gonna take about three drops of this wonderful, wonderful essential oil, rosemary. Now to dilute this a little further, we're going to add in witch hazel. Now witch hazel works by acting directly on pathogenic microorganisms that can cause infection of toenails. Witch hazel has so many, many uses, but it will definitely be useful in this foot soak. Why you say? Because witch hazel can be applied directly to your skin. It relieves hay from pain to itching and swelling. Yes, it does. This is going to give this entire foot soak a big bang. So we'll just go ahead and fill the brim of this little amber bottle container with the witch hazel. Go, that is perfect. And we'll just give it a little bit of a shake. And when you get ready to do your foot soak, all you have to do is scoop in about half of your Epsom salt into your foot bath, or maybe one third, and take you several drops of this mixture in the foot soak into some warm water. You're talking about relief of your foot pain. You got it right here. I'm your girl, Sweet Angel, signing out for now. So please like, comment, subscribe, and you know what I need for you to do. The whole world needs to know what's going on right here. And
Sugar finger. So please share me with your world. I will see you on the next video. Bye, beautiful babes.